Welcome to City on a Hill Gaming, a tabletop RPG actual play podcast. To find out more, download episodes wherever you get podcasts, or visit us online at cityonahillgaming.com, or by sending us an email at cityonahillgaming at gmail.com. You can also support us on patreon.com slash cityonahillgaming. We hope you enjoy our show. Welcome back to City on a Hill Gaming. I am your narrator, Ryan, and it is time uh, for session two, he said, not confidently, but totally confidently, I promise, of our Kingmaker Pathfinder 2nd Edition game. Um, joined by most of our players, we have Cameron. Hello, hello. It's Ben. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Ahoy, hoi. Uh, Emma. I'm reorganizing my pens. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Kim. Hey. And Greg. Yo. And um, to, to the audience, I, I I apologize. I actually don't remember how last session exactly ended. I know roughly where they were, and then I kept reading in the PDF I have for Kingmaker and realized I missed something. So we're going to semi-rewind, semi-pick up where we left off. Um, but the party had just sort of been given their expectations uh, from Lady... Oh. Has to go look at the PDF. Jumanji. I've got it. Yeah, Lady Jumandi, Jum- yeah. Jumandi, yeah. Jumandi, yeah. Uh, of what they will do is they go out to explore the stolen lands and we're spending the night in the in her manor uh, when the manor house was attacked by a group of mercenaries and the party had fought off a couple of those mercenaries and then found a very lovely indoor garden with its own light source that works um, 24 hours a day, kind of as a day-night cycle, and uh, an infinite uh, river that just kind of loops around of itself by magic for with which uh, Emma's character has just been... It's like a little kid who just wants to re-ride the roller coaster over and again. It's a lazy river that I just want to hang out in forever and ever. Amen. That just teleports you backwards. At a water park. Yeah. The only important ride is the water... is the Mm -hmm. lazy river. Mm -hmm. This is accurate. (laughs) Pretty much. Um... Pushing little kids into the waterfall. I mean, I mean, I didn't say. I that. mean, what? what? That doesn't happen. What no. What? Um. So currently, uh, the five of you. Um, I can't type. There it is. Um. Ben, um, Rizernax and Emma's Kerplay are both in the water, and then Cameron's Ezek, uh, Kim's Finn, and Greg's. <laughs> Bootsy are not. Um, so as such, um, Ben and Emma, as you pass the large statue that is next to the water of, um, as you kind of go past it, make me a perception check. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is going to be a 19. Am I completely blind? Forget how to use Pathfinder role, uh, character sheets. They, they are new to us. I have also... Roll your personal perception. Roll there it is. Help you find the perception. Yeah, it's. I forgot that it's its own little box. Oh, right. It's not under your skills. That's yeah. right. It's separate. Yeah. So perceive. Perceive things. Uh, tw- Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, Emma, what did you have? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So you both notice um, as you pass the statue, there's like a little stone shelf that is just below the waterline and there appears to be a little compartment with a stone lid uh, underwater at the base of the statue. I'm diving. Dive, dive. Okay. Do you attempt to open it? What can I pull it off the bottom? Um, you would have to basically like you, it like slides open. So it's like almost like like a drawer. Yeah. 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 I'd lift it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 only like it's like the literally the size of a drawer. Like you're just like sliding the compartment open. It's it's very small. Oh okay. Um, yeah. Slide it open. Uh, so there are six potion jars and a small key. Uh, and whoever's tracking, I got Luke, it. Can I was say Cameron. Okay. Uh, the potions are labeled. Um, assuming. Uh, wait. Let me read the new name because Ben's character's name changes uh, regularly. Uh, Griznazka. Where's your next? Am, am I close? Sure. Sure. Why not? I think that's sort of the point. Um, Changes every time you say it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I think he's actively going to change it more than once. 
Uh, that's what we hope for. Uh, so you have four minor healing potions, a bark skin potion, and a lesser potion of fire resistance. I do tell everybody about the key, too. Okay. And there's a small bronze key. I request the fire resistance, as I am the most flammable. <laughs> Plant man need fire resistance. I mean, good call. Yeah. Le- legitimate request, not med. Yeah. And that brings no us to a total of five minor healing potions. So okay. if we wanted to distribute them to one each, we could do that. Oh, okay, nice. And those of you at home can't see it, but all the players can. How red my face is from being in the sun for like an hour and a half today. Mm. You said one minor healing potion? Uh, One each, yes. You now have one each because you have five total. Okay, I'm adding mine. And let's go, because Ben, you had a 21. Um, yep. So Ben, you pass the statue, but as you dive, you catch a glimpse of what you think is some metal um, in, and I'm going to ping it on the on the map. Um, so the statue is near the top of the room, and then you would flow under the bridge. Mm-hmm. After you would come out on the other side of the bridge, there are some bushes, and you see you see a ping of metal over here. Oh. Just like a little glimpse of of metal there. For just a second, as you dive. Well, once I'm free floating in the water again, I'm kicking off, or I guess I would be back on land to distribute everything, and then I'm gonna take a running dive for it, whatever it is. Oh uh, no, no, hey, like I, it's it's above, it's like it's on land, like in one of the bushes. Oh, okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna scurry over to it. Um, you know. As you get closer, you notice it's about waist height of a human and occasionally moves back and forth a little bit. Um, and as you get close, um, I tell you what, as you get close, everyone roll me initiative. <laughs> Starting out well. Uh, and this would be... This would be perception-based initiative unless you have something else that you want to try and and go with. Just run it by me, whatever it is. Because Ryan just remembered that's how initiative works in Pathfinder. Right. It's not actually generic initiative. Um, One, two, three. I mean, that seems pretty okay. Yeah. 20 <laughs> seems for Ezek. fine. That also seems pretty okay. I'm armored up and ready to go this time. Oh, he is armored up and ready to go this time. That seems bad for me. Um, I mean, admittedly, like, I didn't get hit last time. That's also true. Okay. I just, like, put myself, like, actually into the room on the map. Like, not trying to meta game, but, like, I don't think Ezek is standing in the doorway for all of this. He's just kind of hanging out, like, looking at everybody, you know, yeah. disgruntily or whatever. Like, mm, they're fine, whatever. Um... Um, I am more focused on the little shiny than I care about anything else right now. I get that. Um, That's a 10 initiative. It's a uh, mood, as the kids say. Um, <laughs> the vibes. But, yeah, vibe is that what they say now? Yes, there you go. <laughs> That's um, what I say. Mood. Um, we are the kids. Aren't we really just all the kids? Yes. Fair. Um, and my kid at heart. That's that's why we're here, isn't it? Big mood. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, Cameron, what was yours? 20. Uh, is it? Is it 20? Emma, what was yours? Uh, 23. 23. Big fat 17 with an additional plus 6. Seems dece. Wow. Um, <laughs> Druid, uh, go fast. Druid, go yeah. real fast. Uh, Greg, what do you have? 13. Okay. Um, Kim. 14. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, so Finn has a 14. Uh, Bootsy has a 13. And Ben has a... I don't know why I said Ben and not Grizzard Axe, but there we go. Um, as a Okay. And... Okay. Um... Ben, where are you at on the map now? Um, I'm I sprinted across the bridge to go grab the little shiny thing. Oh, I had I clicked on something else and I didn't actually see you. Okay, there we go. Um, 
there is definitely a shiny thing uh, moving in the bush. Um, Emma, you notice uh, Grizzernex has hopped out of the water and has gone running over towards a bush over here. I would like to follow because I am a very curious person. Okay. Having not really experienced a lot of the world, so I'm very curious, but I'm going to get the right tool. So I'm going to move to like here behind but not i'm curious but still cautious okay love to see it cameron yes. um something seems amiss yeah it's like as far as ezek knows right we're not like technically in combat right no like, no by no means okay uh i i potentially had you roll initiative a touch early admittedly okay. um so this is kind of like just for the sake of as we're like basically like what is happening over here Yes. Okay. Um, so are we doing, do you want us to do full like three actions or what are you thinking? If you have. So a, a, we've, we've determined somehow that Ezek is the responsible adult of the group. Um, <laughs> yeah. Weirdly enough, the Viking themed Noel is, yeah, the, is the responsible here. adult. Um, uh, so, so I'm going to assume he's more attuned to what's going on around him, potentially from a danger sense kind of standpoint. So I'm going to determine that you feel like something is off in in the room. Okay. So um, I say strictly with the bush. But just no, something. just in general. I mean, you have seen Grizzernex just like spring out of the water, yeah. hand you the potions, and then just go sprinting across the room for some reason. Um, so however, however, uh, Ezix would interpret that moment. Um, and then refresh Ezix's memory, because I 100% remember sure um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are we observing like doors in this room like do we, is there like is there a way out of here that we can see right now there is another door uh down here okay so do so you I guys see that she... do you guys see that ping yes. yes i didn't know if you could see yep. ping in fogged out areas there's the door behind you and then there's a door over there so i think with that i'm going to use my first action to come down or to come across, I guess, also by Kerpley and Grizzlenax. Okay. And then, if, like, do you want me to make perception here? Sure, like, let's do that. It's that parental thing of, like, your kids clearly look too excited and are running around about something, so yeah. something must be wrong. A 13? <laughs> okay. Um. There is... There is something in this room other than the five of you. You are confident in that much. Ezix will say, um, eyes up, everyone. We're not alone. Um, and I guess with that, we'll then move down this direction into the fog of war. <laughs> I say suspiciously. <laughs> That's totally fine. I can't fog imagine why war. that would be a problem. Um, so, yeah, you're Can over here. Humming, you are not alone. Yes. Um, as Ryan suspiciously, suspiciously only reveals certain portions of the map. Right. We're good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're right there next to the door. Um, and you're fairly comfortable. You have scouted the vast majority of this room. Okay. And that you don't notice anything amiss right off. Like a loss with I mean, your great eyes see. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, I guess with that, if I'm right next to the door, I'm going to try to do an interact action. Okay. To to open the door and see if it's, because I mean, like even though metagaming wise, we're in initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezek is suspicious, but has no reason to believe that like, that like we're necessarily in any more danger than we have been in for the past like 10 minutes or however long it's sure, sure. since we woke this up. This is fine, so, he says. As everything's fine. Room full of fire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. So like we're like, Ezek has his weapon out, but like is going to use his other hand to to grab the door and see if it can. can uh, it, it unlocks and open, or it opens with no problem. While he's grabbing the door, I'm grabbing the, sh the shiny thing and yanking on it. Ah, okay. So this is when we will actually start using initiative. Um, because you have grabbed at the shiny thing, which it turns out uh, is the uh, hilt of a sword uh, attached to a person. Ooh, I found oh. a sword. Attached to a person? Attached to a person. 
Um, so the only thing they're going to do in response to that, um, let's go with Ryan needs to look something up. Can I, while you're looking that up, can I make a thievery check to steal the sword? Sure. No, it's probably not, but yes. <laughs> hey, if it's in their, their scabbard, it's not in their hand. He's not stealing it from their hand. He's stealing it from their scabbard. Okay. That's one way of doing the math. I like it. Um, sure. You have a sword. <laughs> you you have a short sword um, that looks what I'll refer to as distinctly similar to the short swords of the members of the black tears that you guys have interacted with so far. Suspiciously similar. One, one might say. Guys, I found a sword. Um, hmm. Uh, there, there is a legitimate, like, there's like a small, like, squeak sound of surprise when you're just like, "Ooh, sword!" and you just like pull it out of the sheath. It's like, uh, uh, what? Um, it's mine. Um, let's go with because I'm not finding good instructions for how I remember this working. Um, Cameron. Mm -hmm. Do you remember offhand how throwing things like alchemist fire works? It should just be a is it ranged just an, attack. Just ranged attack. Okay. And that's just asking for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, yeah no, no, I don't know what that's. Casual alchemist fire. That's not important. No biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe it's a it's just like a ranged attack. Like and then if it is alchemist fire hypothetically, hypothetically. It would probably also do splash damage to the things around whatever it hit. But, hypothetically. Uh, yeah, again, very much hypothetically. Okay, good, good, you're good. Hypothetically, like I thought. Um, okay, so let's say, let's say hypothetically, I'm gonna make a roll against, um, Ben's armor class, uh, for reasons. Uh, Ben, does a 15 hit your armor class? Uh, hypothetically, yes, hypothetically, absolutely not. Okay, good. Um, from further back in the room, Cameron, you actually know it's exactly just like right back here. Um, a, a vial comes flying out and splashes next to you, Ben. Um, but it actually hits on the space between you and Kerpley. You both take one fire, one, one splash fire damage as it explodes. Um, but it does miss it you. It goes sploosh. It goes boom, boom. Uh, but it, go boom, boom. It, no, it deal no significant damage. Um, and with that, um, and the fact that you clearly know this guy's here, um, and well, well, we'll just assume that Ben pulled the scabbard out of, you know, off someone's person. She probably know that guy's there too. Um, Kim. The person that I rocked by and didn't notice. Nope, not at all. Um, it's very stealthy. Uh, Kim, it is your turn. Uh, two members of the black tears have revealed themselves um, by throwing fire at people. Um, are we just out of curiosity? Are we still at our, um, did we ever get a chance to rest after the last combat? Or are we still in that health? Still at that health. Oh God. No. Were you particularly okay. well, low then? A little bit closer. Like legit question, um, Ben, were you like fairly low after that? I mean, not like not Dane. Well, it depends what dangerous means. Um, Relative concept. <laughs> I'm not bloody. Okay, okay. Then we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> what do I do? Is it though? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's totally okay. <laughs> um. Okay, Cameron. While while Kim is is making a decision on what she wants to do, opinion. Will the Magic the Gathering Wild West base set mm -hmm. uh, have any equipment guns? Or are we just are we going are we going Wild West with magic and no guns or Wild West with both? My hope is that they treat it kind of like what they did with Strixhaven, where okay. like Lorehold has like the scroll machine gun that shoots magic. Okay. Okay. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Is so that, like, like, it's it's not like handguns. It is like this shoots ghost energy or okay. Like that. Okay. So like maybe it's still a revolver, but it like it definitely doesn't shoot like actual 
Correct. That's like what I'm hoping. Actual for. lead bullets or something. Okay. Right. Okay. Intrigued. Um, I think that might be the answer to actually making this work. Because there's always been the, we're 30 years in and there's always been the, will we get a Wild West set? Well, no, we can't do guns. This is Magic the Gathering. planting something for the campaign. Oh, no, 100% no. Just that's actually. You were bringing in and I was like, I'm so scared that you're asking about magical bullets now. No, 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 no. Just <laughs> legit question. Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And I, th- I think that we've had gun like things throughout Magic. Sure. Um, and I think it's Isn't... like even like Kaladesh has like i mean airships oh that's alone, true like, yeah, yeah yeah cannons and things yeah, yeah, like yeah. that like uh when we have I think pirates we very easily do something like that and we, we, if you have pirates you're you're dangerously close to requiring right. muzzle-loaded firearms okay right wait ben do you have fire does grizzard next have fire resistance uh yes oh sick. Uh, that's why i pinned it because i don't know understand how pathfinder makes sense of that equals to half your level which is one minimum one so something like healing from it or uh, you can out. recover from it if it's like a constant effect more easily. Oh, okay. Um, like you're like, if I had you make a save to not be on fire, your save is lower than everyone else's. Gotcha. Um, but because it Great is resistance, half your level minimum one, that means you actually don't take that one point of fire damage. Okay. From the splash. It'll do Even better. You know, it happens. You just don't take any actual damage from it. I like that. Um, Are we ready? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so Finn's going to move closer for the first action, and then second action, I'm going to do acid splash on the guy that's closest to me. This one over here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I say, please not the one that's next to me, <laughs> <laughs> as I am in splash range. Totally fine. Everything's fine. I talked her out of arc lightning. Um, <laughs> Talk her back in. Talk her back in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> aim for the other Kill one. Us all on the second Ryan wants to see how episode. it works. Ryan wants to see how it works. Um, okay. How death of a character works or how arc lightning works? <laughs> I meant arc lightning, but um, okay. Uh, you have to choose the target, so. Is acid, so is acid splash you attack, attack. or yes. it is an attack? Okay. Uh, roll that hit. There's, there's their armor class. Okay. Plus. 21. 20, mm-hmm. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> plus three five okay um he has been um splashed uh and is deeply unexcited about it because uh, he taking an acid bath he just he just tried to do splash damage and it didn't work and then you just oh, did splash damage and it night. did it is in fact sure saturday night done. um he is deeply yeah, upset Cameron. um Okay, it is it is the Black Tears' turn. Um, Kim does a twenty. Sweet mercy, we're rolling well collectively. Does a twenty-five hit your armor class? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was fairly certain, but it's polite to ask. Um, you take four damage from a hand crossbow bolt. All right. Uh, from your same friend. Um, and you oh, know what? What was th- what was the verdict on healing between since the last fight? I mean, if you guys took time to like use potions or something, I think you took a short, you took a long enough rest Would, to get yeah. um, uh, like abilities and stuff back, oh. but not an actual like, it's still the middle of the night. Um, but I think with how we determined Pathfinder worked, you got a lot of your stuff back just with like, I think you took like 10 or 20 minutes or something. But you don't get health back. No, um, just abilities and such. And Cameron was able to put his armor on. First thing for Cameron, armor that puts itself on. Um, yes, which is probably a thing, frankly. If I checked, um, let's. If not, it can be. It can be. It always, in fact, can be. That is true. Um, hmm. uh, he's feeling froggy and optimistic. So this next roll is uh, going to be another crossbow bolt. Yeah. And uh, actually, you know what? No, it's not. He is going to step out and try and poke you with his dagger. So he doesn't have a frog in his throat? No, he does not. Um, So this is going to be at minus five, which is totally fine. Um, Well, a three misses, I'm guessing. Um, So he gets gets excited because he hits you with the crossbow, and that's like, you know, 
pretty strong for him. And then he leaps out at you and tries to stab you with his dagger and then just almost lunges over the side of the bridge. Um, and then let's see. Um, Cameron, how do we feel about um, a 23? I feel like that's a hit. Okay. How do we feel about uh, a four? Be- better than the 23? Yeah. Okay. How do we feel about a six? Okay, probably about the same as the four. Okay, so you take four damage from a crossbow bolt, and then two other crossbow bolts don't come anywhere near hitting you. Okay. Um, as a question I asked for no reason, is there sure. a penalty to using a ranged attack when you're next to the target? Uh, th- it's not actually the one next to you. Oh, okay. I considered that, and then I was pretty sure there was a penalty, so I used a different guy. Um, so there are actually four members of the black hand with you. Um, okay. they just want to hang out and be friends. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Emma does yes. a 19. I'm guessing hits. Yes. Okay. How do we feel about th- not three? We don't feel great about that. <laughs> How about three does not hit negative two. How does, does negative two hit? No. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Emma, you take. <laughs> Six damage from a crossbow bolt. And then Cameron, the one that is next to you, um, will drop his crossbow and try and poke you. Uh, they don't have a sword. I was going to say, he reaches for his, he, re- he reaches for his sword and he's like, how? Oh. Crap. <laughs> um, so this is awkward. Um, so he tries to punch you. Okay. Uh, does 17 hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, it doesn't deal any damage. Um, oh, fun. Because he, he actually is not uh, he's not capable of punching you particularly hard. Um, but he's optimistic and wants to be involved. Um, okay, he's very upset because his, his sword's gone. Um, and he then he glares at you. Um, take one disappointment damage. Um <laughs> Sadness is a free action. Sadness is, in fact, a free action. Um, wah, wah. Goes on the stack, and the sadness resolves first and has no targets. Um, that was a very specific joke for no one, probably. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, Greg, it's Boozy's turn. Okie dokie, then. And then after Greg is Ben. Does diagonal always count as one? Or Yes. As- okay. Yeah, I don't think this is like fourth edition where like diagonal is... Counts as like every two, other time. Yeah, every other time. It's yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. oh, what a time that was. I think fifth edition does that too. Does it? I think we've always think technically ig- yes. We've well, always right. ignored that rule. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, fifth is diagonal. Is, is counts as one. It is counts as one. Okay, good. Yeah. Because counts as oh. counts as two is. Ugh. Yeah. I'm close enough to reach him and get to him with my rapiers. So that makes okay. Sense. Do the thing. I like the awkward idea that Emma managed to float down the lazy river like five times with them just sitting in the bush. Things. Well, and them just sitting in guy. the bushes like, They're no, no, wait, really confused. wait. Okay. Why is she I swimming? For the next round. I don't wait know. For the next round. <laughs> Why does she move so fast? <laughs> okay. I, I vaguely remember, remember there being something different about crits and like a crit range or something. There is so, a crit range. Yes. So it doesn't have to be 20. No, it doesn't. It just has to be. I believe it's in above. It's, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, ten, it's it's not it's not a dice roll at all. It has to do with their. It has to so do with that, theirs. Yes. So yeah, that's going to be a twenty six to hit. Um, that is in fact enough for a crit. Uh, because that is more than ten more than their armor class. Uh, so double that damage, sir. And there's other weapon traits, but I think those happen in place of damage. Uh, I believe it's it's actually just damage and ability modifier gets doubled, and then I think whatever else stays the so, same. It's just roll damage multiplied by two, not roll two dice damage, correct? Correct. I believe they do double what you roll. I mean, I need to actually double check that. Pathfinder handles those very differently than most. Yeah, because also does that include doubling like your your um, uh, damage that comes on from your ability? Uh, uh, checking pvh that's fine that's fine um you definitely are within the range of getting a critical hit i i know that much um based on what his armor class is which is 
not high enough anymore. Oh, here we go. Oh. When you make an attack okay. and succeed with a... Yeah, it just says your attack deals double damage. Yes. Uh, other attacks, such as spell attacks and some uses of oh. the athletic skill, describe specific effects that occur. So it should... We'll just do... Let's see. Page 451 in the core yeah, rule book. Yeah, then you double or half the amount as appropriate. Uh, the D the GM might allow you to roll the dice twice or double and double with the modifiers, bonuses, and penalties instead of doubling the entire result. But this is entirely based on the single target action. Best, but this usually works best for single target attacks and spells at low levels. We have a small number of damage dice. And I have deadly, so I add another dice roll on top of all that. I don't. Th so roll. Roll your regular damage yeah, with yeah. the modifier and then either roll it again or double it and then add the deadly. Okay, so it's going to be... Yeah. Is what I'm going to go with. Correct. Yeah, this two, deadly four, happens 14. after the double. Right. Yeah. Okay. So 14 total? Yes. Oh, y'all have done 19 damage to that poor man. He did... Oh, well, I was going to say nothing wrong, but he throwing out him as fire was kind of wrong. Um... They are like literally attacking the castle. They are. Like, that's it's true. It's not like um, they're innocent here. They've just not been very successful, but that's not the same thing. They're right. still wrong. They um, <laughs> accurate. Yes. Um, he is now very unconscious. He is very, very distinctly unconscious. Um, what uh, do you have any actions left? I do. Okay. How doth thou wish to use thine remaining action set? I'm going to do an attack with my last action, so it's going to be at a minus five. Correct? Yes, it is. Even yes. though it's a different type of attack. Correct. I'm going to shoot him. With what? A seed out of my mouth. Oh, okay. Right. Out of my mouth. <laughs> out of it, it, tower, <laughs> tower defense time. Right. Okay. Oh, that's sad. That is only going to be a nine. That is not enough. I don't think Plants vs. Mercenaries would have sold as well as Plants vs. Zombies did. Well, because the <laughs> zombies are already dead, so you're not really killing anybody. And yeah. zombies are somehow much cuter than men with lots of tattoos and sharp, pointy, stabby knives. Yeah. You know you're just describing me right now, right? You don't have large numbers of pointy, stabby knives. Okay, maybe you do, but that's fine. <laughs> I collect knives, swords, daggers, and... Well, you are more adorable spent, than the average zombie. And I have spent some time training how to use most of them. There's only a couple I'm not very good at. And that's really just the daggers. I feel like so those... So what you're saying is your house is well defended? Yes. No, most of them are in a box in my closet, like, right behind me in the closet. So of no actual particular use, depending on the circumstance, but fair. There you go. <laughs> fair. I mean, you just prefer not to have to, TBH. I have sword fought with one of them, though. Sick. My, my brother, when he was a youth pastor, he did a lesson one night that had to do with being prepared. And since he and I had done lots of sword fighting before, uh, the group he was actually with is a group that some of the people from uh, Geek at Arms were with at a different time. So that's just entirely a funny connection there. SCA? Um, no, it was actually a uh, small independent group in Wichita. Uh oh. Uh, ben. ben, your turn. Oh, I wasn't done with my story. I know. Finish okay. your story while he's figuring out what he's doing. Okay. So, um, we decided to do that with Kendo. So, we brought in our bamboo Shinai swords and did some fighting demonstration for them. But we also brought in my katana. Okay. And so, after church, in the dark, under the lights of the parking lot, we decided to actually do the thing you're always told never to do. And yeah. we used a bamboo sword against a katana. Definitely don't do that, kids. Oh. It usually doesn't work out well. City on a Hill not does not katana. recommend this action. We, we were not aiming for each other in that circumstance. We were not actually aiming to hit the other person. I'm good. That's what we did with the bamboo swords, but not what we did with that. Well. We, we were aiming only for blade contact. Mercy, help us. Then do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, first thing, I'm going to call out uh, 
Jabroni in the, the number in the middle. Yeah. Um, this dude here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to sing silly songs at him. Oh, I think we're going to use his hey, own Larry. sword against him. No, I'm the other guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sing silly uh, songs. I'm going to sing silly songs at him and make him. Uh, I need attempt performance check. Let's see. Attempt. Uh, it's going to be goblin song. Okay. Like my uh, ancestry feat. Right. Um, only one person. Uh, so a performance check against the will save DC of a single enemy. So I roll a performance and he rolls against it, right? Uh, yeah. So my performance DC confuses me a little bit, but that's what we'll do for now. Okay. DC that's implies a set it. I number. I just wanted to confirm that. Uh, performance on. I mean, there's like a will save number. Yeah. Is it like just the, I don't know what that'd be boosted against, but. Because they had, like, he has a will save bonus of plus two. Yeah. Is how his is listed. So we both have a 12. I think he wins. I believe he does. Okay. Um, um, because ties in Pathfinder don't favor the player, if I remember correctly. It's one That's of the more nice. one of the more unique things about Pathfinder. Well, then would that oh, so it's always not the player. It is it's always. I believe it is always not the player. Okay, so it's not just an attacker defender. It's never the player. <laughs> Correct. That's fair. I think I think I'm right about that. Cameron's not I'm like okay with it. loudly objected, and I turn to Cameron for things uh, like this. Yeah, that that I don't know. I'm pretty I'm okay. sure it actually favors the the NPC. Um. um and to mix into the silly song is going to be the uh, the verbal components to magic missile, and I'm going to okay. shoot three magic missiles. I'm intrigued. What? I wasn't expecting that, but I'm intrigued. Go for it. Because uh, it's it's one action, and then you you have four actions to use, right? Uh, you three. So it's three actions. Okay, then I'll uh, certain things two. grant a fourth, but three three for the most part. Okay, then I'll just use three, um, or just use two. Since I already used the one for the for the goblin song, right? Um, so guy left and guy right take a um, magic missile, and that is one d four and one d four. Ooh, both of them get fours. Uh, plus one is five. Huh. Uh, and that was this fine gentleman. Left and right, yeah. Oh, one each. Yes. Okay. Noted and noted. So both both guy on left and both guy on guy on right take five points of force damage. As the guy in the middle shakes off my silly song. Yes. He looks at you disapprovingly of your music and then gets hit in face with a magic missile. It's like if the comedian threw the tomatoes instead of the hecklers. Yeah. Well, I'm, okay so I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm singing at him and I throw to the side. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the no look pass in basketball, but. So the, the dude who, so he does. So the guy actually who you sang at, does he get hit with a magic missile? So no, so this guy here does not. It's okay. just the, the guy other on the two, right and the guy on the left. Gotcha. And then the guy in the middle had the had the song. Right. He's he survived without any repercussions. Silly songs with grizzard necks. Okay. Yep. Um. Who is suddenly a cucumber? Yes. <laughs> and Ryan, just so you are clear, every time you do say the name that I have typed, it will change. Okay. Well, on your oh, on your mini, it still says grizzard necks, but that's not what. Right. Rinsarkax. <laughs> Grins or cax. I actually like that one. I may write that down for later. I kind of dig that. Um, uh, let's see. So now it would be Emma's turn. I okay. Do potions count as one action within combat? Ye like for all of intents and purposes, because I have no clue. We'll go with yes. Yeah, I think it's the interact action. Great. You use your hand or hands to manipulate an object or terrain. Can grab an unattended or stored object, um, open a door. Produce, you might attempt a skill check to determine if the interact action was successful. So I guess technically it's grabbing the at, the item. So it might not actually be drinking it. Okay. Because I'm wondering about drinking it. Let's assume you can for one until I determine further. Great. So I'm going to take the minor healing potion that I just got and chug it. Got it. And then I am going to, once my computer catches up with me, target these two guys 
the two on the right. Okay. With my where is my spell slot? There it is. With electric arc, it's a DC sixteen they have to meet. Okay. Uh and uh forty two reflex or will. Oh, it says primal DC sixteen attack plus six. Um that is the wrong one. Um Which thing basic are you? reflex. Basic reflex, okay. Ooh, thank you. That's the good one. Uh and you said two of them need to? Both uh, both yes. both these two fun lads? Yes. Uh twenty two and twenty six. Dang. Well <laughs> Well there you go. I tried anyway. You did. <laughs> I um, wanna see what I would have gotten. Oh, they would have gotten four points of damage. So you know, but I throw some electricity at them and it fails. Okay. It misses or whatever. Ezek. Um, I think it's time. Um, so Ezek will say, get out of our way. Um, we'll run his hand across his great ax, which will then um, burst into flame. And he will make a spell strike against this guard. Standing right. Magus. Okay. Dig it. Do do the thing. I'm excited about this. to hit? Oh, not quite, no. Okay. Uh, that's that makes me very I mean. sad. Okay, so I need to see if something works if okay. I miss. Yeah, yeah, action. go for it. Okay, yes. So I don't need to have dealt damage. Okay, so... Uh, that, that worries me of, deeply. Okay. As part of his follow-through, Ezek is going to... Um, like bring the the axe back and you feel the the magic that is in the axe is then diverted back over his body um as he as i use the arcane cascade ability sick love it okay what does this mean so um i now add fire damage to all my melee attacks okay um and then as part of my um my hybrid study i now also gain temporary hit points Sick. Okay. That seems dope. I love it. Uh, and then that is all I have. Okay. Um, Kim, it is Finn's turn. All right. So Finn's going to move closer and then cast uh, Burning Hands to get all three of those guys. Oh, my. I okay. Nice. I, I, I hate it. Great. Love it. Uh, look up Burning Hands. This seems bad. So they need to make basic reflex saves. One collective save for everyone. A natural twenty. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you do no damage, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, gum these lads because I don't think there's a. It, it's not like a, a save for half. I don't think. Someone is is free to correct me on that, but I don't think it deals any damage. So that is... It does not say in the spell information. Okay. Then that means it is not saved for half. That is deeply disappointing. To brighten I the mood... I tried and I fumbled. To brighten the mood, um, <laughs> since Ben was so kind to sing us a silly song, uh, everyone gets a water buffalo. Um, <laughs> including... Yours is fast and mine is slow. Including the members of the... Uh, the mercenaries. They also get water buffaloes because everyone... Gets a water gets a buffalo. Water buffalo. <laughs> we, don't, we don't discriminate here. Never. Everyone is allowed to have a water buffalo. <laughs> but um, in the process, we all lose our hairbrushes. Yes. And don't have don't get to the restaurant in time for cheeseburgers. You will have to come back at lunch. Nope. Yep. Um so this is the saddest episode we've ever had. It really is. <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, everybody got water buffaloes, but on the other hand, no cheeseburgers. So and we all lost our hairbrushes. Also true. Um, Cameron. Oh, dang, Navid, this guy's like really ineffectual without his dagger. Um, <laughs> <sighs> yep, punching time. That one, that one, that one. Okay. Does a 16 hit? Yes, a 16 hits. Okay, so that last one uh, deals you one point of damage. Okay, it deals me zero points of damage. I kind of figured because of your resistance from the sick Magus thing. 
Um, well, yeah, it's temporary hit points, admittedly. Oh, okay. So, like, it just it they it just eats through the temporary hit point, but okay. Uh, well, this other one would like to take a step towards you, and actually try and poke you with a dagger. Uh, that's a sixteen. Um, that's a hit. That is a hit. That is exciting for me, at least slightly. Um, and then he will try one more time. Fifteen hit. That is a miss. That is a miss. I am sad. Um, and then so his one dagger hit will deal you one d four plus two damage, so six. And Kim Finn has been very rude in trying to repeatedly injure this man, and he is not excited about it. Um, so he would like to try and hit you with his dagger. Um, that's going to be a twenty two. That is a hit. He gets very excited and tries to hit you again immediately. That's a three. Um, that's a miss. So he's going to try and he's going to try and uh, reload his crossbow instead. Um, and so from the dagger hit, you will take. 1d4 plus 2 damage, 3. And that is their collective turns. Ouch. Um, Bootsy, it is 9 turns, sir. Yay! Up, up, up. Up, up, up. What action. Ooh, action with the stabby stabby of the rapier. And that is... Good thing. 46 AC. Nice. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Dang a loo. Rude, but yeah, all the damage. What are you, what points of damage? Thanks for listening to City on a Hill Gaming. If you'd like to know more, find us online at cityonahillgaming.com or by sending us an email at cityonahillgaming at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter at City on a Hill Game or find us online at patreon.com slash city on a hill gaming. Thanks as always to our Patreon backers Grizzly Rich, JD, Brian, Sir Lord Epic Name, Andrew, Christina, and Tony. We really thank you guys for everything you do to support the show, and we truly appreciate you. Thanks for listening, and have a blessed day. Started recording. Okay. Yay. Uh, sound check time. Greg, do the thing. Okay. <clears throat> Two large eggs, three quarter cup of ice water, three tablespoons of ice water, three quarter cups all purpose flour, one tablespoon all purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of salt, two cups oil for frying, one large sweet potato scrubbed and sliced into one eighth inch slices. Beat the eggs in a large bowl until frothy. Stir in three quarter cup plus three tablespoons ice water, three quarter cup plus one tablespoon flour and salt until just incorporated. It, the batter will still be lumpy. Heat the oil in the deep fryer or large saucepan to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, set a wire rack over several layers of paper towel. Dry the sweet potatoes with paper towels, dip three slices into the batter, letting the excess batter drip back into the bowl. Fry in the preheated oil until golden brown, about two minutes per side. Use a slotted spoon to transfer the sweet potatoes to the wire rack, Repeat to dip and fry remaining sweet potatoes. So wait, what did you, so you just made deep fried sweet potato slices? Sweet potato tempura. Oh, I, I am like astonishingly opposed to just sweet potato, but I am intrigued. So good. Interesting. Uh, I had some tempura for lunch. Oh, Ben. Her parents. Wanted to know how to make this it. This is my sound check because I have not been, I've been driving and I've not had a chance to find one. That is an acceptable Perfect. sound check. Uh, Kim, sound check, ma'am. Red Robin. Yum. 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 Okay, well, that covered it. All right, Cameron. Sound <laughs> check. Not, not a sponsor. <laughs> uh, hashtag not an ad. Yeah, Cameron, go for it. Today, we are ecstatic to officially announce that Starfinder 2nd Edition is happening. Back in 2017, we released Starfinder, a new game system and setting to stand alongside Paizo's tied and true Pathfinder brand. Today, we're revealing the new evolution in Starfinder as we announce its 2nd Edition and lay out our plans for the future. This new edition of Starfinder, Starfinder is being designed and is fully compatible with the upcoming release of Pathfinder Reboot 
remastered rulebook and all future Pathfinder second edition products. That means all your Pathfinder content going forward will be compatible with the new edition of Starfinder and all Starfinder second edition content will work in Pathfinder with your GM's approval, of course. Thanks. No space characters in this game. But no, that, that's actually no space interesting. characters, that. just space classes. Uh, um, I didn't know they were doing a second edition of Starfinder. Okay, that's space. interesting. Yeah. It, was, it was officially announced this past weekend. Okay, sick. Oh, I have never I was that's... That. It was like announced like on Thursday. At, have, like have you actually played Starfinder? I have. It's a lot of fun. Have you run Starfinder? No. I've only played uh, Starfinder Society. Would you run yeah. Starfinder? Would I wear wigs? Possibly. Okay. Correct <laughs> answer. Um, so official new City on the Hill campaign, Starfinder edition, Cameron GMing. Got it. Check. It's now. Uh, put it on the list. All right, good. Um, uh, uh, Emma. In the beginning, it was a nice day. All the days had been nice. There had been rather more than seven of them so far, and rain hadn't been invented yet. The clouds massing east of Eden suggested that the first thunderstorm was on its way, and it was going to be a big one. The angel of the eastern gate put his wings over his head to shield himself from the first drops. I'm sorry, he said politely. What was that you were saying? I said that one went down like a lead balloon, the serpent said. And that is my soundtrack. What is that from? Because that sounds really familiar. Good omens, isn't it? That seems like good omens. What else would I be um, currently very emotionally traumatized over right now, <laughs> other than the thing that changed high school me forever and ever? Amen. <laughs> Fair <Good> enough. Moments. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and I will go with the fact that they have announced, uh, since Cameron did an announcement, I'll do an announcement. They have announced a new, from a certain point of view, uh, Star Wars book. Uh, this one in conjunction with Return of the Jedi. Uh, from a certain point of view is a series where they is a book where they you get like 40 short stories all in one book written by authors who take certain parts of Star Wars we already know and retell them from a different character's perspective. Um, That's fun. So they did one. Yes, they did one, which I found at the public library um, for the original Star Wars in 2017 for their 40th anniversary. So I guess they have announced uh, Return of the Jedi from a certain point of view. Um and they have announced every story and author uh, as of apparently two days ago. So, yeah, it's exciting. I will not remember to read this, but I will try to at some point. <laughs> We're getting a Max Rebo story, and I didn't expect to say those words, but there you go. We're getting a story about the Sarlacc. I'm, I was going to make a joke about Max Rebo, but this is a Christian thank you wow this is an interesting list of characters okay sorry if i don't stop i won't stop 